Hey guys, welcome to CJ Classic Trucks. We have a new project vehicle for you. This is a 1971 F-250 Camper Special. So why don't I walk around and give you the tour? So, like I said, it's a 71 F-250. It looks like it's been repainted. I don't know how recently it's been repainted, but you can tell this is not the original paint, but there is some rust coming through. So it wasn't a two of a recent paint job. Um, the truck is actually in really good condition for being a 71. You know, it's got a little bit of rust here and there. Some weather stripping needs to be replaced. But other than that, it's really good, actually. Pretty much all the body panels are good. There's a little dent here, but that's nothing that we can't fix. It does have the 360-inch big block engine, which I'll show you. And we have done one upgrade to this so far. Um, when we first got the truck, it wasn't running the best. So we did the Pertronics ignition upgrade with their coil. So. Now we have something shiny under the hood, but that's all we've done so far. So definitely, it's definitely showing its age under the hood, a lot of rust under here, but that just means we have more room for improvement and more videos to show you guys. Something that's pretty interesting on this truck, this right here is like an old school trailer brake. Um, you adjust this part on the spring to adjust the trailer brake. Pretty primitive, but it's pretty cool to see how old technology was back then. And this does have aftermarket cruise control. And that's what this unit is. Um, just pretty impressive. And it does have the road flare kit here with the reflectors and everything and the jack. I think that's pretty cool that this truck still has that. Um, little things like that that are just pretty cool. Oh, and another thing, since this is the camper special, what makes it the camper special was from the factory, it has an upgraded radiator, so it's a larger radiator, and also a beefier alternator. Not sure on the specs on that, but it is an upgraded alternator, and it has the pre-wired harness for the trailer. And that hood is very loud. <laughs> so the bench seat is actually looking really good. It's in good condition, and this does have the old gas tank behind the bench seat. I'll walk around and show you that. Um, it does smell a little bit like gas, so we might have to figure something out with that, but the gas tank is right behind the seat, so when there is a leak, you definitely smell it. The steering wheel has a couple cracks in it. I'd like to replace that or upgrade it with something. Um, for right now, the radiator does not, or the radio does not work. I'm not sure why, but I'm sure we'll get that fixed up and uh, maybe throw a retro sound in there or something. But Overall, for 71, this interior is pretty good. And the odometer says 27,000 miles. I'm not sure if that's 27,000 or 127,000. Really not sure. But either way, the truck is in decent shape for its age. So we're back at the bed, and this is, I believe, the long bed. It is bigger than any bed we have here at CJ's. And I don't believe it's factory, but there is some kind of bed coating in here to give it a protective coating. It doesn't look the best, I'm not sure what it is, um, but maybe we can address this later on and make it look a little bit better. Um, the tailgate looks pretty nice. It's got the red Ford lettering, Ford lettering back here. I like the color scheme. And if you notice, you don't see an exhaust on this truck. Um, it's got kind of a aftermarket exhaust, I guess you could say, but this thing does sound pretty awesome. And uh, I'll turn it on and give it a couple revs and see what you think. I'm about to fire this truck up, and this thing actually really impressed me with how quickly it starts. Um, I think it starts quicker than some of the vehicles I own that are fuel injected. Just like that. Big, big block American V8. <laughs> Can't beat that sound. Let's go put this on our four post lift, get up in the air and see what it looks like underneath. All right, we're under the truck and this is where it starts to look like a 1971 with 127,000 miles and not just 27,000 miles. There is a lot of rust under here. Uh, a lot of things that could be addressed. A lot of the bushings look very worn out. The shocks look probably original. Um, the transmission, though, looks like it could either have been rebuilt 
or possibly new. It just looks a little too shiny to me for 1971. And the pan is without a doubt new. Um, looks like maybe they didn't install the gasket right or something because all the bolts are covered in ATF like it's leaking. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe possibly remand. This seal right here definitely looks new on the output. So I don't know, could be new or remand, which is good for us. And the exhaust, if you notice, there is no muffler, which I think it sounded pretty awesome, but it actually wasn't too loud at idle. And I was kind of impressed with how quiet it is for not having any cats or mufflers. This is just straight manifolds and pipe. It's absolutely nothing up there. Um, up here, the front suspension, lots of grease and leaks going on. It's definitely showing its age, which I kind of gets me excited actually, because that just means I have more things I can replace and upgrade, which means more videos for you guys. And if you do notice, it is two wheel drive. It's not a four wheel drive. So we're not lifting this thing. Um, realistically, we're probably keeping it the same ride height, but I would love, love, love to maybe put airbags on this and make it a slammed truck, but I'm not getting ahead of myself with that. Up at the front of the truck, once again, it's definitely showing its age. The engine, I believe the water pump is leaking. I can see uh, coolant starting at the water pump and it's just covered the bottom of this engine. I believe there's an oil leak in there too. And uh, whoever's been greasing these ball joints has been going a little bit too happy on the grease, I think. There is a ton of grease and road debris buildup. To me, that looks more like 127,000 miles rather than 27,000. Springs are looking a little bit worn too. I would love to do a complete overhaul on this front end replace every suspension component and such, make this thing brand new. Um, I think that'd be a whole lot of fun. But yeah, you can definitely see it's looking like 1971 down here. So that was the grand tour of our 1971 F-250 Camper Special. I can't wait to get wrenching on this thing and give it some love and bring it up to the 21st century. I hope you guys are excited for this build as I am. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an update and we'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the link right here. And for more videos like this one, click this playlist.